New classical architecture is a contemporary movement in architecture that continues the practice of classical and traditional architecture. The design and construction of buildings in these traditions is continuous throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, even as modernist and other post-classical theories of architecture have been more dominant. Since new classical architecture is not an architectural style and can appear in various forms, contemporary classical buildings might be also, although not correctly, be described with the terms traditionalism, neo-historism, or simply neoclassical architecture, implying the continuation of a specific historical style. Some theorists also perceive it as a part of the postmodern or new urbanist movements of which the former contributed to a renewed interest in historic forms in general, and the latter to an openness to learning from traditional methods of urban and architectural design. Contemporary buildings that continue the language of early modern movements, such as Art Nouveau, Art Deco, Streamline Modern and Expressionism, may also be described as new classical or new traditional architecture. Development Roots in Europe at the beginning of the 20th century, historicism and Jugendstil were still dominant styles in Germany. The Austrian architect Adolf Loos criticized his time's architecture as too grandiloquent and opulent, and longed for a complete abandonment of architectural ornaments in his 1910 essay Ornament and Crime. Along with the British arts and crafts movement, a major clash between modernist and traditionalist architectural visions loomed. As early as the first major modernist movements like Workbund and Bauhaus gained momentum in Germany, the desire to continue and develop classical styles sprouted. From 1904 until around 1955 the high mat shoot style prospered in Germany, which focuses on vernacular traditions and can be roughly translated to cultural protection style. Examples of this early new classical style are the Hamburg Museum, the Prinzipalmarkt in Münster and the Market Square of Freudenstadt. The 1922-1931 Bocchestrasse in Bremen is an expressionist approach towards regional brick Gothic architecture. After heavy Allied bombing of Germany in World War II, architects such as Adolf Abel, Roderick Fick, Constant E. Gutz Chow, Werner March, Paul Schmitteno, Julius Schultz Frohlinde, and Rudolf Walters assisted in the post-war rebuilding of destroyed German cities using high mat shoots and other traditional design methods. Also in East German socialist classicism there were attempts at regionalizing new architecture, with the Frankfurter Tor in Berlin, the Altmarkt in Dresden and the Longe Strasse in Rostock being prominent examples. In the late 1960s and early 1970s the architect Raymond Erith continued to design classical houses in England despite the modernist movement. Quinlan Terry, a new classical architect who continues to practice with his son Francis Terry, was an employee, later a partner and now the successor of the late Raymond Erith. In the late 1970s several young architects in Europe began challenging modernist proposals in architecture and planning to broadcast them. Leon Creer and Maurice Collot founded the Archives d'Architecture Moderne in Brussels and began publishing texts and counterprojects to modernist proposals in architecture and planning. Creer's work and that of others was introduced to America through Andreas Papadakis' editorship of London-based Architectural Design and Academy editions. In Britain it received a boost from the sponsorship of Charles Prince of Wales, especially with the Prince's Foundation for Building Community in the United States in the 1930s and continuing until the 1980s, primarily in the southern United States, but also elsewhere. There continued a demand for traditionally and classically designed houses, places of worship, and small commercial buildings that were satisfied by a group of architects that maintained a small practice and were devoted to classical design in whole or in part. These architects include Otto Reinhold Eggers, Daniel Paul Higgins, Philip H. Froman, Vis Kimball, Henry V, Murphy, Mott B, Schmidt, Edward J. Schultz, Philip T. Schutzer, Lorenzo S. 
Winslow, John F. Stobe, Royal Barry Wills, William Worcester, Lewis Edmund Crook Jr., Harold H. Fisher, Hayes Town, James Means, O'Neill Ford, Harold E. Wagoner, Charles E. Peterson, Donald Barthelm, Sr., John Elgin Wolfe, Edward Vasson Jones, John Barrington Bailey, Henry Sprott Long, Apollinaire Osad Carr, and George M. White. Critics of the reductionism of modernism often noted the abandonment of the teaching of architectural history as a causal factor. The fact that a number of the major players in the shift away from modernism were trained at Princeton University's School of Architecture, where recourse to history continued to be a part of design training in the 1940s and 1950s, was significant. The increasing rise of interest in history had a profound impact on architectural education. History courses became more typical and regularized, with the demand for professors knowledgeable in the history of architecture. Several PhD programs in schools of architecture arose in order to differentiate themselves from art history PhD programs, where architectural historians had previously trained. In the U.S., Mitt and Cornell were the first, created in the mid-1970s, followed by Columbia, Berkeley, and Princeton. Among the founders of new architectural history programs were Bruno Zevi at the Institute for the History of Architecture in Venice, Stanford Anderson and Henry Millen at MIT, Alexander T. Zonis at the Architectural Association, Anthony Vidler at Princeton, Manfredo Tafuri at the University of Venice, Kenneth Frampton at Columbia University, and Werner Oexlin and Kurt Forster at ETH Zurich. The creation of these programs was paralleled by the hiring, in the 1970s, of professionally trained historians by schools of architecture. Margaret Crawford at SIARC, Elizabeth Grossman at Rhode Island School of Design, Christian Otto at Cornell University, Richard Chafee at Roger, Williams University, and Howard Burns at Harvard. In these years postmodern architecture developed a critique of modernist architectural aesthetics. Among them were certain influential postmodernist architects such as Charles Moore, Robert Venturi and Michael Graves who used classical elements as ironic motifs in order to criticize modernism's sterility. A broad spectrum of more than two dozen architects, theorists, and historians presented other alternatives to modernism. Among them were several serious new classical architects who saw classicism as a legitimate mode of architectural expression, several of whom would later become Dreyer House Prize laureates, including some such as Thomas Beebe and Robert A. M. Stern, who practice both in postmodern as well as classical modes. Some postmodern architects, such as Robert A. M. Stern and Albert Reiter and Tippmann, fully moved from postmodern design to new interpretations of traditional architecture. Thomas Gordon Smith, the 1979 Rome Prize laureate from the American Academy in Rome, was a devotee of Charles Moore. In 1988 Smith published Classical Architecture, Rule and Invention, and in 1989 was appointed to be chair of the University of Notre Dame, Department of Architecture, which is now the School of Architecture. Smith and colleague Duncan Stroik transformed the program into the only architecture school entirely dedicated to classical architecture. Others joining the faculty had come from Colin Rowe's program at Cornell University and Jacqueline T. Robertson's at University of Virginia. Several architects used their offices to nurture young architects in classicism, among them Alan Greenberg, John Blatto, and Alvin Holm. Michael Lycodis left Greenberg to join Notre Dame's faculty in 1991 and, in 2004, become its dean. Today other programs exist which teach in part new classical architecture at the University of Miami, Judson University, Andrews University and beginning in 2013, the Center for Advanced Research in Traditional Architecture at the University of Colorado Denver.
Alongside the academic and scholarly development of the new classicism as a reaction to modernist hegemony in formal architectural academia, a populist and professional manifestation of contemporary and new classicism has existed and continues to develop. The 1963 demolition of McKim, Mead and White's Pennsylvania Railroad Station in New York City provoked the formation of Classical America and its regional chapters. Led by Henry Hope Reed, Jr., Classical America advocated the appreciation of classically inspired buildings and for the practice of contemporary classical and traditional design, by teaching architects to draw the classical orders, hosting walking tours, educational events, conferences and publishing the Classical America series in art and architecture. Its members and proponents carried on the tradition of classical and traditional architectural design throughout the 1960s and 1970s, also through the mid-20th century. Interior decoration and design offices maintained the practice of traditional and classical design in interior decoration. Most notably, the office of Parish Hadley fostered the development of an architectural department in the mid-1980s some of whose members, as well as those from other offices, formed the Institute for the Study of Classical Architecture in 1991. This new educational organization, which launched with a six-week-long summer program in 1991, attracted proponents and patrons of traditional and classical architectural design, historic preservation and members of the publishing, manufacturing, and construction industry involved in both restoration and new classical and traditional architecture. Among the architects, designers, and artists involved in the early days of creating the Institute for the Study of Classical Architecture were William Brock Schmidt, Richard Cameron, Vicky Cameron, Courtney Coleman, and Fairfax, Mark Ferguson, Christine Frank, John Kelly, Leonard Porter, Donald Ratner, Henry Hope Reed, Pierce Rice, Richard Sammons, Gil Schaefer, Oscar Shamamian, Seth Weiner, Bunny Williams, and more. Early support also came from publishers like Clem Labina, who created Old House Journal, as well as Clem Labine's Traditional Building and Period Homes magazines, and from manufacturers in the construction industry including David Cohen of the I. Grace Companies, Jeffrey Davis of Chadsworth Columns, Michael Riley of Riley Windows and Doors, John Wyatt of LMC. Kevin and Roy Zerluck of Zerluck Doors and Windows, and many others. In 2002, the then named Institute of Classical Architecture merged with Classical America to form the Institute of Classical Architecture in Classical America. The ICAA currently supports and is supported by regional chapters across the United States almost all of which host awards programs which recognize significant accomplishments in new classical and traditional design and construction. The ICAA publishes The Classicist, a peer-reviewed journal exclusively dedicated to the theory and practice of contemporary classicism in architecture, urbanism, and the allied arts. The ICAAA offers educational programs to architecture and design professionals, many of which follow the methodologies of the École des Beaux-Arts. The ICAA also teaches courses to educate the general public and has created programs such as the Beaux-Arts Atelier, the Advanced Program in Residential Design for the American Institute of Building Designers, and many other unique programs. It also awards the Rieger Graham Prize for Architecture and the Alma Shapiro Prize for Fine Artists. Philosophy of New Classical Architecture Fundamental tenets of the New Classicism is that it is not limited to neoclassical architecture and that classical is not a style in itself, but a way of elevating the art of building to the art of architecture. A classical building uses imitation to express its tectonic truth, which is not the same as the facts of its construction, and finds its beauty not in originality and style, but in the handling of the traditional forms that have always been its vehicles. Classical buildings also always account for the differences between the public and the private realms in addressing the urban and rural conditions. 
where they are built. New classical architects also emphasize the awareness of sustainability. The aim is to create long-lasting, well-crafted buildings of great quality, with an efficient use of natural resources. Dreyer House Prize for New Classical Architecture In 2003, Chicago philanthropist Richard H. Dreyer House established a prize in architecture to be given to an architect whose work embodies the principles of classical and traditional architecture and urbanism in society, and creates a positive, long-lasting impact, awarded by the University of Notre Dame School of Architecture. The Dreyer House Architecture Prize is seen as the alternative to the merely modernist Pritzker Prize. The Dreyer House Prize is given in conjunction with the Reed Award, for an individual working outside the practice of architecture who has supported the cultivation of the traditional city, its architecture and art through writing, planning or promotion. Other high-profile classical architecture awards are the U.S. American Palladio Award, the Edmund N. Bacon Prize, and the Riga Graham Prize of the Institute of Classical Architecture and Art for Architecture Graduates. Education While modernist teaching remains dominant at universities and architecture faculties around the world, some institutions focus solely, mainly or partly on teaching the principles of traditional and classical architecture and urban planning. Some of these are, in India Tirumala SV, Institute of Traditional Sculpture and Architecture in Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh, in the United Kingdom National Design Academy in Nottingham, the Prince's Foundation for Building Community in London, the Prince's School of Traditional Arts in London, University of Portsmouth in Portsmouth School of Architecture, Prasada, Practice, Research, and Advancement in South Asian Design and Architecture in Cardiff, the Welsh School of Architecture, Cardiff University, in the United States Andrews University in Berrien Springs, Michigan, American College of the Building Arts and School of the Arts at College of Charleston in Charleston, South Carolina, the Center for Advanced Research in Traditional Architecture at the University of Colorado in Denver, Colorado, Judson University in Elgin, Illinois, University of Miami in Miami, Florida, Grand Central Academy of Art formerly hosted at the Institute of Classical Architecture and Art in New York City, New York, University of Notre Dame School of Architecture in Notre Dame, Indiana, Beaux Arts Academy in Salt Lake City, Utah, Organizations in New Classical Architecture Various organizations are engaging to revive the general awareness of classical architecture qualities provide education and donate to related causes. Many of these have a national or regional focus and might appear in the form of citizens' groups that work on a townscape-friendly classical building culture in and around historical town centers. Examples Examples of built new classical structures Asia The structure plan for Thimphu, Bhutan, follows principles of intelligent urbanism, which share underlying axioms with new urbanism and new classical architecture. China The Qianmen Street leading to the Zhengyangmen Gate in Beijing is a recent development to implement traditional Chinese architecture. Tianning Temple, Changzhou, Middle East Masjid al Qiblat and Mosque, Medina, Saudi Arabia, Europe Brandevort, Netherlands, Brentwood Cathedral, England by Quinlan Terry, Cologne, Germany, Dominium by Hans Kohlhoff, Frankfurt, Germany, Main Plaza by Hans Kohlhoff, Jekryborg, Sweden, Poundbury, England, United States Nancy Lee and Perry R. Base Performance Hall, Fort Worth, Texas, Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe, La Crosse, Wisconsin, Bibliography, Alexander, Christopher, The Timeless Way of Building, Oxford University Press, ISBN 9780195024029, Coles, William A., Architecture in America, A Battle of Styles, Ardent Media, Curl, James Stevens, Classical Architecture, An Introduction to Its Vocabulary and Essentials, with a Select Glossary of Terms. 
Norton. ISBN 978-0-393-73119-4. Philip James. The Art of Classical Details. Theory, Design and Craftsmanship. Images Publishing. ISBN 9781-86470-203-3. Dowling, Elizabeth Meredith. New Classicism. The Rebirth of Traditional Architecture. Random House Incorporated. ISBN 9780-8478-2660-5. Dwayne, Andres, Plato Zyberk, Elizabeth, Speck, Jeff. Suburban Nation. The Rise of Sprawl and the Decline of the American Dream. Farrar, Strauss and Giroux. ISBN 9780865476066. France, Douglas, Collins, Catherine. Celebration, USA. Living in Disney's Brave New Town. Henry Holt and Company. ISBN 9781466815674. Gabriel. Francois. Classical Architecture for the 21st Century. An Introduction to Design. W.W. Norton and Company. ISBN 9780393730760. Gromort, Georges. The Elements of Classical Architecture. W.W. Norton. ISBN 9780393730517. Crea, Elia Cuto N. Albert Speer. Architecture, 1932-1942. Archives d'Architecture Moderne. Consular, James Howard. Geography of Nowhere. The Rise and Decline of America's Man-Made Landscape. Simon and Schuster. ISBN 9780671888251. Matrana, Mark R. Lost Plantations of the South. Univ. Press of Mississippi. ISBN 9781604734690. Read, Henry Hope. The Golden City. W.W. W. Norton. ISBN 9780393005479. Scruton. Roger. Beauty. A Very Short Introduction. OUP Oxford. ISBN 9780199229758. Scully. Vincent Joseph. The Shingle Style Today. Or, The Historian's Revenge. G. Brazilla. Stroik, Duncan. The Church Building as a Sacred Place. Beauty, Transcendence, and the Eternal. Liturgy Training Publications. ISBN 9781-59525-037-7. Summerson, John. The Classical Language of Architecture. Mitch Press. ISBN 9780262690126. Watkin, David. Morality and Architecture. Clarendon Press. ISBN 9780198173502.